Yo, 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 welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Brittany Summer, and I'm back with another trailer breakdown for Sisters, episode 16. Yeah, yeah, stay tuned. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification button so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. To all my subscribers, thank you, thank you so much. To all my new visitors, please, please, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. And yeah, let's get into this trailer. You my shot. At what? I really do like you. Wednesday. I'm gonna be single for a while. Well, that may change soon. He took him from my mom. Leave him with me and I'll take care of him. I want to press charges. Things may take an unexpected turn. What's wrong? I just got a call from the DA. He said he wants to meet me. Sometimes you just gotta go straight hood. Andy, what's going on? He couldn't say over the phone. This is not unusual. I'd say it's very unusual. Tyler Perry's sisters. Oh. So the trailer starts off with Danny and her co-worker, the co-worker that likes her, I really don't know his name right now, like, he needs to be on more episodes, but, um, in the background, it looks like she's still at work, you can see planes, but they're in front of two cars, or, like, yeah, they're in front of a couple cars, whatever, and he says to Danny, I just want to shoot my shot, and Danny was like, at what? And he was like, I really, really like you, and then Danny gives that face, like, oh, here we go. But to be honest, I feel like Danny is feeling him and she's just really concerned because of Preston. I hope and I pray, like, goodness gracious girl, like, do not cheat on Preston. Like, y'all just got it together. Please don't. So this guy seems really, really determined and it looks like he's not going to stop, like, trying to flirt with her and, like, get her on another date. So... Hopefully she don't give in and hopefully he probably leave her alone, but I doubt it because this, this is a Tyler Perry show. So we'll see. Then following after that, it goes to Karen and Pam. Karen says to Pam, I want to be single for a while. And Pam responds by saying that may change soon. And then it goes to Jason Weaver. So my thing is now, 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 Jason Weaver, if y'all don't know who Jason Weaver is, He's been in too many movies, too many TV shows, some like ATL, of course, um, Smart Guy, The Shy, that I still watch, Drumline is a great-ass movie, and of course, he plays Simba in The Lion King, that, come on, lottery ticket, like, oh my goodness, he played in so many, so many good-ass movies and good-ass shows, like, period, so my thing is with Jason Viva now, is he gonna be the love interest of Karen? Like, is he, is him and Karen going to be together? Or, like, is he going to try to pursue Karen? Because the way he's looking at Pam, he's looking at Pam like, oh, she looks good, whatever. So, is it Pam that he likes? But is it Karen? To be honest, if it's Karen, it's like, okay, now this is too much men. Like, girl, settle down. Settle down. But maybe his crazy match her crazy like what if he's crazy you know what I mean so I can't wait to see what role what character he's gonna play I'm excited to see that then it goes to Zach and his baby and his baby mother this part is really frustrating to see because Zach comes outside with his son and you could tell the baby mother already took the son from him and basically called the cops and was like telling the cops that Zach took her son from his home from her home. Knowing damn well she don't feed the baby. She don't change the baby clothes. She don't bathe the baby. She don't change the baby diaper. And he's five years old wearing a diaper. Like, bitch, if you don't leave this child with Zach and Zach is basically saying, like, just leave him with me and I'll take care of him. And then she proceeds to say, like, oh, I want to press charges. The cop, though, he looks really sympathizing with Zach. Like, he don't look angry. You know, he don't look like one of those cops that's, like, ready to send a black man to jail. So, clearly, Zach doesn't have the baby for now. But he doesn't get arrested. So, that part pissed me off, no lie. Because his baby mother, she is a wicked, wicked-ass person, and I don't like her. Zach should just pay her so she could just stay away for good. 
Okay, now, nah, guess who showed up? Guess who knocked on the door? Guess who came to dinner, child? Yes, yes, yes. Aiden's girlfriend. She finally showed up. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm with it. If it gets Aiden out the way and make him happy, you know, hopefully he don't find out what the real deal is. But she came and let's see how she's going to work things out. I think kind of really she's going to agree with everything he wants, you know, or she's going to persuade him to like, no, let's just get married and I don't have to sign no papers. So we'll see about that. I'm excited to see where she is going to take this relationship to the next level or like how far she's going to take her scheme in, you know what I mean? So I'm excited to see. Sorry for Hayden, but not sorry for Hayden because sometimes he deserves it. Okay, so now at this point, it goes to Sabrina and Marisa driving the car. Sabrina gets a call from the DA saying they need to meet. They are dragging this meeting out. Like, just call them. I don't understand why the DA can just call them like, hey, we're dropping the charges. Like, why do we have to meet for you to tell me you're dropping the charges? But... Maurice and Sabrina seem so fucking concerned because Andy tells them, like, yeah, this is not usual for them to be doing that. Like, DAs don't usually do that. So, yeah, it it could be something. Like, we don't know, but this is not normal. So, they all look worried. But it seems like instead of going to the DA's office, they go to Andy's office, her and Maurice, to sit down and talk. So... Hopefully, Andy goes with them, just in case, like, as a lawyer. So, we'll see what happens. What you think is going to happen with that? Because, you know, I know for a fact they're going to tell them they dropped the charges. So, why drag it out? And the fact that Andy did call the DA office and they still would have told her over the phone, that's some bullshit. Now to my favorite couple. Zach and Fatima are in Fatima's office. And Fatima is telling Zach, like, you know, clearly, Zach looked really pissed because... You know, his baby mother came and took his son. So he looks sad and pissed. And Fatima gives him advice, advice that I feel like, you know, maybe not to Zach. Like, I don't think Zach should be hearing this at this point in his life. Like, she tells him, sometimes you need to go, like, straight hood. Do y'all think that was good advice for her to give? Because Zach is working on his anger management. So my thing is, like, why tell him that? Because he might just take it to a whole the level. You just saw him beat this man ass in this fucking apartment building. What? How hooder can he get? Like, what do you want him to do? I feel like he's going to take it seriously. He's going to be like, yo, my wife told me, you know, in certain situations, I need to go ham. Like, I'm going to go hood and I'm going to do what I got to do. But, Zach, you will go to jail. Stop. Like, what is the reasoning why she's telling him that? That's what I want to know. I love you, Fatima. You know, I love you down, girl. But I don't know. That was giving some bad advice. Okay, you guys. That concludes my trailer breakdown of episode 16 of Sisters. Please, y'all, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think is really going to happen in this trailer because a lot of stuff is going on, and I'm really ready to see it. You feel me? So, yeah, subscribe and all that good stuff. I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace.